So why have we created a microlearning app? What is the brain science behind how customers benefit from using the app? And why is microlearning such an integral part of our company strategy? Well, my name's Michael, and I want to spend just a few minutes talking about some of these topics. Did you know, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, that in 2015, millennials surpassed Gen Xers as the largest generation in the workforce? By 2020, millennials alone will make up 75% of the workforce. That means in the next 10 to 15 years, we're going to see the greatest transfer of knowledge that has ever taken place. The key will be microlearning, a method that uses small moments of learning to drive job performance and employee development. Now, consider how members of a workforce get their information outside of work. They get it in little chunks and snippets, and this goes for non-millennials as well. For example, we watch a video, we access an Instagram or a Facebook post, we search for a retailer, we buy things on Amazon, we check our emails many times a day along with all of our social media accounts. Everything comes into the brain very quickly and it comes in small pieces. If this is how people consume content outside of work, then we need to meet learners where they're at. And that's why microlearning is such an integral part of our company strategy. Did you know that there's such a thing as macro learning? Understanding macro learning will help you understand the concept of micro learning and how each apply to supporting employee performance. Most of our Vector Solutions compliance-based content is currently in the macro learning format. Examples of macro learning are instructor-like classes, massive open online courses, also known as MOOCs. In fact, entire degree programs can be considered macro learning. Now, microlearning, on the other hand, is what you find in our Vector Solutions microlearning apps, like RVGo. Our microlearning apps are appropriate when you need help doing something or need to reference a snippet of content. This is learning that is short and to the point based on a topic or a problem. Now, microlearning can be easily searched by asking a question or entering keywords. Let's look at how this applies to supporting employee performance and ongoing development. Early in our role, we need macro learning to get started, understanding the job and the skills needed to perform that job. Then we need reminders of that learning, not necessarily the entire learning experience all over again, and that is where micro learning comes in. Our pace of learning increases. Once we become seasoned in our job, we may need another macro learning intervention to propel us to the next stage in our career. This may involve taking more vector courses to obtain or maintain a credential. Now, when the pace of learning continues to increase, we become armed with the knowledge that allows us to teach others. As a result, we reach the next level of our career, and this is good. When the pace of learning flattens out or decreases, then we're not doing anything to further our career, and this can be bad. Now, if you want to impress your clients or prospects with some brain science learning theory, turn them on to the concept of spaced learning which is best explained by the original research conducted by Hermann Ebbinghaus, a German psychologist who published his research in the late 1800s. Here we have the Ebbinghaus forgetting curve. As this graph shows, progressive injections of new knowledge have a rapid memory decay in the brain. And only if we repeat the content over time do the curves start to flatten out. Ebbinghaus found that only by repeated practice could people obtain any real ability to remember. And as you can see here, retention increases each time the content is reviewed. Neurological research has proven that we learn best by being exposed to new skills and ideas over time, with spacing and questioning in between. Now let's look at this from a brain science perspective. Here is a 3D video of your brain. Well, this isn't actually your brain, but you get the idea. Our hippocampus, located in the medial temporal lobe of the brain, is responsible for consolidation of information from short-term to long-term memory. The more information is repeated or used, the more likely it is to end up in long-term memory or to be retained. And that's why studying over time, as opposed to cramming, helps people to perform better on tests. Unlike sensory and short-term memory, which are limited and decay rapidly, long-term memory can store a huge amount of information for very, very long amounts of time. Between each learning experience or review of a learning experience, our brain needs breaks so that the information can be processed and moved from short-term into long-term memory. Breaks allow for this processing of information. 
Breaks allow our neural networks to get stronger. And this is why microlearning works. It gives our neural networks short bursts of information. And this is why microlearning is such an integral part of our Vector Solutions company strategy.